Hello, I'm Carol and this is part five of the Luttolo tale. Once upon a time, Carol wanted to make some Luttolo trousers. She did and it wasn't all plain sailing, I have to admit. I've ended up with a pair of trousers which I'm quite pleased about but mm, I'm not sure if I did something wrong along the way. These were the trousers that I wanted to make and they're from I think the autumn 2020 catalogue. So they're kind of jeans, crop jeans, which I didn't quite realise. Sorry, Mickey's just not the, the microphone in the stand. Um, and they got three buttons on the side. So well, I'll show you some patterns along the way and I did film along the way. Um, first thing I did, I've got notes. First thing I did was draw out the pattern pieces. Um, this is what I had to work with. So that was the small little one. Um, you have one, two, three, four, five pattern pieces there. And that is really basic because there's a front to back, uh, some pockets and the waistband. There is no fly front, um, like a separate little fly front cover thing that you normally have. Um, now, whether I was meant to include it on there, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's what I started off with. That's what I mapped out. Um, I drew it first of all. It all looked okay. I drew the front and that actually looked quite good. Looked very similar to trousers I've made before. Back was a bit dodgy. Um, it had this very strange bit here, which I'll explain in this video. Well, I've drawn all my pieces out and wow, that was tougher than it looked. Um, so many things, um, this for example, this pocket, trying to get the 14 centimeter that side, 16 that side, why is that slightly longer? No idea. And then tailoring it down to 15. See, I'm not used to drawing out my own patterns. Um, this here, cutting here, this angle, um, I presume that's instead of a dart. Um, but where, how far that cut continues, that line continues. Also, do I need to allow a seam allowance there? Okay, so what I thought might be a simple pair of trousers, right this minute, I'm beginning to feel like I'm out of my depth. But we'll see. Well, um, it looks like a trouser pattern. Uh, I've cut it out. There are some very dodgy angles. I seem to have these enormous pockets, but I think with a seam allowance that'll go down. But um, that is the right measurement. I seem to have these um, pockets here. That looks like it's going to fit. Um, that doesn't look too bad. Presumably I've got two cut two of those. I'm going to check on another pattern I've got with similar. This bit kind of looks all right. This is normally where you have the so A to B part, don't you? You normally have two dots there. It, uh, my main concern is this section here, which was going to have the split here. Then obviously that folds down like a dart. Um, yeah, it's this angle here we have going on that shows it a bit better. I'm not entirely sure. I might grey that out a bit because that looks a peculiar shape right now. The On the good side is the two inner leg seams actually match up together. But what I didn't realise is this is obviously a cropped pattern, uh, cropped jeans. So I may put some more length on them because right now I don't think I need any more crops. They then get you to cut this long rectangle out for the waistband um, that makes it look enormous they say circa 98 so that will be 10 centimeters bigger than my waist so it could work i mean let's see let's see how it goes but right now i'm a little bit nervous so that was all done i then cut out we're using my fabric all the pattern pieces and I kind of worked out that I wanted some different lining for inside of the pocket because sometimes sort of three layers of denim can be a bit, um, quite a bit thick. So I used some contrasting fabric, which actually made it look very pretty. And I kind of worked out how to get the pocket lining and the other pocket. 
Um, it really does make you think for yourself this, I will admit. So I did that then, and then um, I think I put some shots of, of actually sewing it up. Um, and then overlock some edges, I overlock the pocket, pocket piece and I top stitch the uh, pocket on the outside. Now this is where this pair of trousers is actually fighting about its identity. Some of it, first of all I started to try and make it look like jeans and then I decided, I sort of, that went by the by because it's, so it's a bit of a pair of trousers that's kind of lost its identity along the way. Um, uh, so I did all that, I sewed them all up and then I'll show you another bit of footage. So this is my first try on. Um, I haven't finished the front, I haven't finished the waistband, I've just folded it over for now. And initially you think, yeah, they're okay. The front kind of sits flat, the pockets are nice, but they're massive. Um, if you can see, although the, this bit around here fits nicely, it's very, very gappy around the waist and they are extremely highly waisted. I mean, that bit's okay because I never wear anything tucked in like this anyway, but there's a lot of fabric here. Um, of course, you can't see in the pattern, you can't see because she's got a top over the top. So, so although they, they look fine here, the length is gonna be fine, they're gonna be cropped. It's what on earth I do with all this. Now, it could be the fabric and I made a huge mistake and I didn't realise until I was um, actually ironing it and I suddenly realised I could smell the, is it size in it? Um, I thought, I've forgotten to wash this fabric and I always wash every fabric. So what I think I'm going to do is wash this fabric before I make any alterations. I'm going to wash it and dry it and see if it's makes any difference because I think it's a stretch denim and I think it's stretched as I've been sewing it. So yeah, I mean, I'm pleased I got this far. Um, just needs a lot of bringing in. So what did I do then? I washed the fabric um, and I even put it in the tumble dryer for a little bit to see if that would shrink. It didn't shrink. Why is it? Something when you want to shrink doesn't shrink. Anyway, so it didn't change very much. Um, so I took off the waistband and I took in the side seams, angled them quite a bit. I took in um, the join the seam at the back. Um, so kind of sort of brought it in rather than it being square on me like that. I sort of angled it in a bit. Uh, I did all that. I put the uh, waistband back on and when I did the button I pulled the button over as much as I could so I had the buttonhole on the button and I pulled it over as much as I could without distorting the zip so that's made it a lot tighter um, obviously it's going to be washed again um, if it still remains a little loose then I may have to think about doing something like putting some elastic in the back but I'm now going to stand up and show you what I have the finished product so I'm going to show them to you now. I apologise the camera's on a very strange angle because I'm in a very tight space. Here they are. So um, we have got, I think, are they called one, two, three, four, four pockets. Um, you've got two decent back pockets. Now one thing I forgot to say is that I cut the pockets down considerably. I actually went to a pair of jeans that I had and measured it and yeah, I initially thought they were going to be too big and yes they were so I reduced them in. Kept the size but I reduced them in. So that's good, that's good phone sized. And i um, got the two pockets here. Uh, if you remember I lined them with a the contrasting. Don't really know why I did that but because they still feel just as thick but it just adds a little bit of detail. Secret detail. Um, there we go, still a bit kind of be hoiking them up I think every now and again. I could indeed put some belt loops on it and then put, wear a belt, but I don't bother with that. Um, I did the three buttons. Um, I initially did two buttons much closer together and my husband thought that was really weird. So to go back to spacing the buttons out and actually when I actually did it, it wasn't too bad. There 
is a nice little slit either side. They are super comfy. It's a really soft stretch denim, which was probably my problem because of course it's, it was stretchy as I sewed it. Um, they are really, really comfortable though. And we are um, going away in a couple of weeks and we're flying, it's about a four hour flight, I think. And I think I'm actually gonna wear these because they are nice, they're gonna be sat there, they're not gonna be tight on me. Um, and obviously we want to, this time of year, want something a bit warmer. So there we go, I think they look like a picture. I am pleased. Now, whether I did the measurements wrong in the beginning, I'm not sure, um, or whether it's stretched as I sewed. Uh, I had to use a lot of the knowledge that I've built up over the years and a few bits are referring to uh, quick sew patterns. Now quick sew for me are the best flight instructions. They seem to be way more simple. I even um, cut out a separate fly shield. I think it's called a fly shield that goes on the back um, to protect it. So I cut out a separate bit there because it wasn't on the pattern pieces. Now, whether you were meant to, to draw one from the actual trouser front, I don't know. So there we go. So uh, that was the, the uh, tale of the Letalo trousers slash jeans. Um, where am I going to go over here from Letalo? I'm Next, I'm going to make another blouse or a top and I'm going to do it for the more recent books. Um, not sure when I'll get a ray from round to doing that. Um, I do really enjoy it. I love mapping it out. That's the best bit. Then the next problem to me is, especially with the trousers, is how do I go about constructing it? And there's bits that you get on, say, the big four pattern pieces that you didn't get on this one. Um, but I worked it out. I ended up with a pair of trousers. Um, trousers. Uh, so there we go. Thanks ever so much for joining me on the my little Letalo journey. Um, and I look forward to making something else and I hope you come along uh, with me on my next tale. Thanks ever so much. Bye.